Hello, my name is Brad Hansen. I'm a math college readiness teacher at Allen Coast High School. Today I'm going to start out with decimals. All right. When we're adding and subtracting, we have to line up the decimals. But when we are multiplying, we're not going to line up the decimals. So those are two, two things that you need to know when you're doing math with decimals. Um, another thing you need to know are what the places are called, because that helps us convert them to fractions if we have to. So after the decimal, we know the ones before, there's ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, so on and so forth. Similarly, after the decimal, start out with the tenths place though. Tenths, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. Now sometimes when I'm doing these videos, you're going to have to pause because I'm going to go fairly quickly. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is convert a decimal to a fraction. All right, so we'll start out with something easy. Start out with 0.5. All right, so we know this is called the tenths place. So if this is a tenths place, we're going to put it over a 10, whatever that number is. All right, and then we can reduce from there. To reduce 5 over 10, we know 5 goes into both of these, so we can divide by 5. You do it on top, you gotta do it on the bottom, make this one half. Alright, so 0.5 as a fraction would be one half. Another example, we say 0.82. So we know we're going to the hundreds place this time. because it's two places. So we're going to have 82 over 100, and then reduce by what we know we can reduce by, and you can just keep going until you get to the end. We can divide by 2 for this one. So we get 41 over 50, and that happens to be 8. All right. Next, we're going to go over adding and subtracting. So if we're adding two numbers with decimals, say 1.38291, 1.38291 plus 0 0.00472. Like it says, when you're adding and subtracting, you have to line up the decimals. It's always to look better to look at them vertically, so we're going to put one on top of the other. Actually, it really doesn't matter which one you put on top. If there's any open spaces, like right here, if there's no number in front, just put a zero. Zero, zero, four, seven, two. And we can add them up. Just like we would with regular numbers. One plus two is three. Nine plus seven is 16. Four plus two. And if you add a one up here, Add it up with the, uh, the other ones, 4 plus 2 plus 1 is 7, 8 plus 0, 3 plus 0, and 1 plus 0 is 1. So that would be our answer. Do another one of those. We have 4.839, so this is number 4. 4.839. Twenty-one point seven six two. Twenty-one point. Make sure you line up the decimals. Seven six two. Nine plus two is eleven. So one goes down here. One comes up. Six plus three plus one is ten. So we put a zero here. And the other one goes up there. Seven plus eight is fifteen. Plus one is sixteen. Decimal actually drops down. And that's a one. 1 plus 4 plus 1 is 6, and we have nothing up here, so the 2 will drop down as well. That's that. Now I'll do some subtracting, which is just like regular subtraction. Just doing it with decimals now. You know you have to line them up. So start out with 3.281. This is going to be our fifth problem. 
3.281 minus 0 0.0019. So, yeah, like I said, line them up first. 3.281 and 0 0.0019. Now remember, if there's nothing above it, you can put a zero as a placeholder. Same thing here. We're subtracting. So, first thing, we have zero minus nine. Since you, take, you can't take away nine from zero, what you want to do is borrow one from this. That's going to become a zero. And then we can add, add it on to here. So that's going to be a 10. 10 minus 9 leaves us with a 1. Then we have 0 minus 1. Can't do that again, so we got to borrow from the 8. 8 is going to become a 7. And then we can make that a 10. So we have 10 minus 1. So that's going to be a 9. 10 minus 1 is a 9. 7 minus 0 is 7. 2 minus 0 is 2. Decimal drops down. And 3 also drops down. Okay, next one. Point two eight one four. Number six. Point two eight one four minus point one nine. And remember, there's nothing under these. We need placeholders, so we're going to add some zeros. Don't really have to add the zeros if they're before the decimal, though. 4 minus 0 is 4. 1 minus 0 is 1. 8 minus 9, since we can't do that, you have to borrow one from the 2. That becomes a 1. And then this will become 18. So then we have 18 minus 9. It's going to give us 9. And 1 minus 1 is 0. And decimal drops down. So 0 0.0914 would be our answer. And if we did want to reduce this to a fraction, we know this is a tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousandths place. So we can put 914 over 10,000. And then we would reduce. We could reduce by 2, but I'm not going to. I already showed you guys how to do that. So moving on, now we're going to multiply two decimals. All right, now I'm going to do a multiplying problem. So we'll start out with 2.34 times 0.123. Line it up like you would when multiplying, but you don't have to line up the decimals this time. So we're just going to have 2.34 times 0.123. Multiply like you usually would. 3 times 4 is 12. One goes up here. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1. It's going to give us 10. One goes up there again. Then we have 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. All right, we're not going to deal with the decimals yet. All right, next one, we have, uh, whenever you're doing uh, the next step, we're going to add a zero first, because this is uh, second place, so we have 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 2 is 4, so this is the second time we're doing it, so we're going to add two zeros. 1 times 4, since it's a 1, none of these are going to change, so it's just going to be 1 times 4 is 4, 3, and 2. Then we can add all of these up. Then we'll deal with the decimal. 2 plus 0 plus 0 is 2. This one's 8. 7 plus 6 is 13, plus 4 is 17. Add 1 up there. 4 plus 1 is 5, plus 3 is 8. And 2 drops down. And to figure out how many decimal places you have to use, just count them up here. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So our answer, 
going to be 0 0.28782. And the last one. All right, and the last problem. We have 0 0.0012 times 3.45. So the first thing we're going to do is put one on top of the other and multiply, like we usually would with real regular numbers. Multiply like normal, 5 times 2 is 10. So 1 goes up top, 5 times 1 is 5, which plus 1 is 6. And since these are zeros, 5 times 0 is going to be 0, so we don't have to put anything here. 4 times 2 is 8. But we have to put a 0 first. Then we can multiply the 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 0 is 0, so we don't have to put anything here. Since we're on the second digit, we have to put two zeros, then multiply again. Three times two is six. Three times one is three. Then we can add them up, figure out where our decimal goes. Zero. All down the board is going to be zero here. Six plus eight is 14. So four goes down here, and a one. One plus four plus six is 11. And 1 plus 3 is 4. Now, we count up the decimal places. We have 2 in this number, and 1, 2, 3, 4 up here. Just because they're zeros, you still count them. So we have 6 total. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So from here, we move over 6 places. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Decimal goes here. 2 places. So our answer is 0 0.004140. Don't need that last zero. So here's our answer. Next video is going to be on fractions.